Hi, this video is entitled where is my IP address located and I want to explain um, a simple difference that often confuses people about IP addresses. People, if you look on YouTube you find loads and loads of videos about changing IP address and modifying it and stuff like that. But what they often fail to mention is that you have two actual IP addresses really. You have something called an internal IP address which is assigned by you or the router you're using and you have an external IP address um, which is usually assigned by your ISP. Now let me just show you something. This is my internal IP address here. I'm going to my network settings here and I'll show you my, I'm not worried about showing you my internal IP address because nobody else can see it. You can see here mine's set at 192.168.1.16. It's quite likely yours is set very similar. Uh, a lot of people have it set by obtain an IP address automatically and when it gets assigned by a protocol called DHCP, usually from your router or um, your Wi-Fi access or something like that. See here, default gateway, this is my router connected to the internet and I actually use that as my DNS server as well. There's no real point changing this. It won't adapt or modify what happens to be online. I won't be able to bypass different stuff. I won't be able to watch uh, websites that are based in different locations. It's irrelevant, okay? So you can kind of forget about these, really, as long as it's working. Um, there's no real point changing your internal IP address in most cases, okay? What you may want to do is to change your external IP address. And this one's assigned by your... ISP, the people you pay money to for your internet connection, and it will be assigned onto your router or modem or DSL connection, whatever, and you can't actually change it. It's, it's going to sit there, and that is your internet-facing IP address. So when I go to the BBC website, and I'm if I'm not in the UK, I'll get blocked because my IP address is assigned here by my ISP, okay? So people, when they say they want to change or modify their IP address, they're usually concerned with this one. Sometimes they modify that one and it won't do a thing. This is the one you need to change. Unfortunately, unless you own your ISP or you've got a best buddy working in the ISP, you can't actually change it. There's no way for you to change that IP address. What people actually do is this. What they actually do is use something called a proxy or a VPN server and what they do is instead of changing their external IP address, they use a fake one, okay? So they use a server that's in between. You can't change your IP address, but you can hide it. You can use somebody else's IP address. And that's what most people do. And if you want to, if you're looking where your IP address is located and you want to change it, this is the route you need to go down. Proxies, VPN servers, okay? Now let me just show you a quick demonstration, hopefully. Um, here's the BBC website from my current location, okay? Now, um, it might look fine for you, but it's actually the interna international version, okay? You can see there's adverts there. You don't get that on the normal BBC website. And that's because currently I have a German IP address. I'm outside the country, okay? So I can't access. If I go to the TV site and try and watch something, all I do is get adverts. None of these work. A very nice site, but... They're all telling you what where you can get it and what channel, what um, cable providers supply it, stuff like that. You can't actually watch anything on this because it's on the in international version. Okay, let me just stop that and show you how I change my IP address. Okay, now I use a program called Identity Cloak and I've been using this for years. It's a security program and... I use it for security, really, but I also use it for watching different TV stations and stuff online. Um, they don't advertise this functionality, which is great, because it means they're never going to get sort of uh, into trouble and they're never going to get their connections blocked, okay? That's very important, that. There's loads of TV proxy-type places now. They get blocked all the time and the company go out of business and stuff like that. Anyway, this is how I change my IP address. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a UK server now. And there's loads here. There's more UK servers than anything. I'm going to double click on one. And when I've done this, it's going to route all my internet connection um, through a UK server. Okay, so last time I was going to a... Um, oops. Last time I was going to the international version of the BBC website... I will now go to the 
website again. This time I'm routed through a, um, a UK server and you can see I've gone to a different version. This is the one without adverts. It's also got iPlayer and the TV thing now will actually allow me to watch TV. So I get a different menu, I think you can remember. And if I want to watch a program, whatever this is, it's reminding me that I need a TV license and I'll click yes I've got one which I actually have and then I can stream any program and I can use iPlayer and everything because at the moment I have got a UK IP address now I haven't changed any of my IP address I haven't touched my internal one I haven't modified my external one because I can't I've merely used this program identity cloaker to reroute my connection okay so if you want to change your uh, IP address or you want to access something like in America or France, wherever, or all of them in fact, um, you need to look at this proxy VPN solution. There's no point fiddling around with anything else, it won't work, okay? Um, I say I recommend Identicloaker and there should be a discount code somewhere on the screen, um, but there are loads of others, okay? Check them all out. Um, that's one I use and I can recommend it. I hope this video has been of help. It's called, Where is my IP located? And I hope you know where it is now. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.